We're going to the cottage. Stop for some McDonald's. Kai, you wanna come eat over here? Uh, it's been a bit of a tough morning with Kai this morning, right? Yeah, I just pissed that. Yeah, you've been in a bit of a bad mood. You wanna eat some chicken nuggets? It was a massive lineup for McDonald's, but we got our chicken nuggets. We got chicken nuggets for me. Some mornings just don't start off that well, but that does not mean that the whole day has to go not so well. So we're gonna turn this day around, right buddy? Yeah. This may be an unpopular opinion, but the Big Mac is still one of the best burgers mm -hmm. there is. Kai, how are the chicken nuggets? Good. Let's get back in the car. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We are here. Ooh, it is nice. Whoa, sorry guys. Why not, buddy? Do you see him? I see him. There he is. Our ride has arrived. is empty we are at the cottage feels great summer day the first real real summer day yeah. how does it feel first time at the cottage this season Good. first time at the cottage baby how do you like it <laughs> no don't shoot me i'm trying to put bug spray on buddy you silly guy you silly guy oh. <laughs> what do you think Isa? should we put the dock in the water we gotta get this thing this bad boy right here over there it looks really big but uh it's doable. The only variable is how cold this water is. I haven't actually been in there yet, so I don't know. I'm debating whether it's better to test the water now or just go straight in later on. Yeah, we'll just go. Can't sink it. No, we don't want to sink it. My mom's going to be the filmer for this. Why do you have to Look how, look how strong dad is. Oh no, we're stuck on the rock. Now. I'm gonna have to hire my mom soon to film. We're almost there. Just gotta attach and then I lift all these. Look at this one. Look at that guy. He's got a big butt. That is a big spider right there. This is becoming a horror vlog for some people. Ah! Just like that, we're done. Now we celebrate. What'd you find? A tattoo. Time to enjoy some sun. <laughs> Nobody else is swimming. Just the Finnish people. <laughs> to describe the feeling of going sauna if you haven't done it before but whew, it feels good ah, and then you just jump in the cold water and, mm, perfect combo
morning. Well, good afternoon. We're still here at the cottage. Life is better at the cottage. Uh, having a great time, beautiful weather. Uh, and right before we left, this arrived in the mail. That is a clean package. Well done, Peak Design, well done. This is the Peak Design travel tripod. And I remember trying it out for, or like just holding it for like two seconds when Peter got one. And I've made hundreds of videos for YouTube and a lot of them have been using this Joby Gorilla Pod, which is a really, it's a love-hate relationship for me. I, I love it, it's a great tool, it's really versatile, but I also hate it. So often it's just fallen over on me and it's just limited in a lot of ways. You can't get it up high. You're always having to find something to put it on. Um, so I asked Peak Design, can I try out the travel tripod? Because I'm curious, could you, instead of using something like the Joby Gorilla Pod, could you use something like this, uh, the Peak Design travel tripod? So let's check this thing out. And then, uh, so this is the tripod. It's really small. I feel like I'm gonna have to actually take this off. I'm gonna use this bag as... So this is the Gorilla Pod, and then this is the Peak Design Travel Tripod. So in in length, there is, it's just like a couple inches, I'd say like maybe two inches difference. In weight, the, the Travel Tripod is definitely heavier, but it's not, it's not a crazy weight actually. Impressive, very impressive. So far, so good. Are you guys fine on the table like that? Uh, all right, so let's open this bad boy up. The great thing is that it's a really small tripod. It's about the same size, but it can go to like a really long. The weight is 2.8 pounds. Packed height is 15.5 inches, and it goes up to 51.3 inches. And then if you use this little stick extension, it can go all the way up to 60 inches high. I'm just gonna take this little instruction manual off and give it a quick little, quick little read. Excuse me for a moment. Uh, there's a lot going on. Uh, there's tool built in here. There's a hook so you can add weight to it. So if you're doing like a time lapse in a windy place, uh, you can put some weight on this hook and then it's gonna keep the, the tripod nice and stable. Push this down. There's even a built-in hidden uh, phone mount, so you can mount your phone to the tripod. Very smart. Uh, this is the base plate it comes with. And to lock in the base plate, it's just a little slide here. Very easy, simple to use. And we can bring up the head here. And to adjust the head, we just a little twist here to unlock, and then you can move it in any direction you want. And I really like that to get it to like its natural closed state, you just, all you gotta do is just put it down and it just locks in there perfectly. It just fits very nicely. And then this is a really nice part about this tripod. In order to extend it, you can just open all of them at the same time like that. Just get it to whatever height you need and then just clip them in. Open all of them at the same time. Open all of them. Boom, done. I gotta say, so far I'm very impressed with the travel tripod. Let's take it outside and maybe uh, try some different angles. But first I'm actually gonna enable the low mode, which means you can get really low to the ground. So in theory, you'd be able to get a nice range of shots. You could go super low to the ground or quite high up. So uh, what we gotta do is just take this off and then we're gonna use the hex key that uh, came with it. And we just put it back on. Now we can get nice and low. All right, so right now I'm, whoop, just spilled my club soda. Right now I'm using uh, the travel tripod as kind of like a vlogger rig where you would hold it like this uh, and it just allows you to hold it a little bit further away, a little bit easier, more stable. Now normally uh, I could get a nice low shot like this with the Gorilla Pod, no problems. It works really great, super easy, super fast to set up, but if I wanted to get a shot like this where I'm standing, I would literally have to find something to put the Gorilla Pod on. I would have to rely on my surroundings. In this case, I'm on the dock. There's nothing I would literally have to pile like maybe these chairs together and then somehow get some sort of crazy uh, setup where I'm at this height with the tripod. I can just use it like a tripod. You have no idea how many times I've tried to film on this dock and I just haven't found a good spot because uh, 
it's been really hard with just the Gorilla Pod. So I'm always trying to find the best tool for me that works in the best way, the easiest way, a mix of quality and ease of use. But sometimes you get so used to a tool that you're almost scared to try something else. You're scared to, to replace it with something else. And I think that's been the case for me. I've been using the Joby so much that I haven't really tried anything else to see if there's anything better. And you guys have seen it. How many times has my camera been like, eh, and about to fall, and sometimes it has fallen. Um, and then just the fact that I can set up my camera like this much easier. I think I'm actually gonna try to switch over to the Peak Design Travel tripod. We're gonna test it out. We're gonna film a couple vlogs at least with it, only using uh, the Peak Design Travel tripod, and we're gonna see is it any better than the Gorilla Pod? Because sometimes that's the only way to find out is by actually putting it to use, making some videos with it, and you'll see what are the good sides, what are the bad sides, and is it any better? I apologize if you don't care at all what my camera sits on, because I'm sure a lot of you don't, but uh, anyways. Jet ski in the water. Man, I miss that thing. Come on, Kai, we gotta go. <laughs> and just like that, going back home. No, but what did you learn in the water? We played in the water and go swimming, go sauna. You learned how to swim, right? Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. 